playing a bass. Pick up the pace. I'm about to chase. Money in case. Clean a bass. Gotta call for it if you got it. Ain't no stopping on the boat. Gotta call for it if you got it. Going live, good in the show. Gotta call for it if you got it. Ain't no stopping on the boat. Gotta call for it if you got it. Going live, good in the show. Pick up the pace. Two scene ain't enough. Four tie team is us. Man, I'm third, I'm second, I'm third. I'm gonna have to clean it up. I done went yard, that ball gone, the alien beamed it up. Mad contract, they want me back. I'm gonna have to green it up. Like being way wild, really feel fine. Worry about y'all, it's just my time. I got my swing right, that's a green light, that's just my sign. This is a ring light, if you missed out, better press rewind. I'm just a highlight reel, uh, to do what I do, take skill. Take the pace. I'm about to chase. Money in case. Clean up base. Pick up the pace. I'm out of chase. Money in case. Clean up base. Got a call. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Houston Astros and the Oakland A's. Alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and guys, the Athletics come into the day with the opportunity to sweep this four-game series after having claimed the first three. And they look pretty good today. They look pretty loose out there taking bat and practice and their ground balls prior to this one taking place. Got to feel confident after taking the first three games of this series that this team is certainly focused and ready to steal this four-game sweep. Paul Blackburn, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. So here is Michael Brantley, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. First pitch on the way. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the game's first pitch is taken for bowl one. And Dan Dero, these A's as they begin play here this afternoon, it's so far so good as they enter play 3-0 on the young season. Yeah, Matty V, we're talking about a team that is white hot right now, Dero. They've won the first three games of this four-game series. They'd like nothing more than Dero winning this. And hold on now, that's a fair ball down the left field line. Should be at least a double. And the Astros get something started right away. It's a leadoff double. Wow, that's the way to kick off a day at the ballpark right there. Leadoff hitter, and he puts the pitcher on his heels right out of the gate with a leadoff double. It's hard to get settled into a game as a pitcher when you're dealing with the runner in scoring position one batter into the game. Into the box, Miles Strong. He'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. His prior history versus this arm, not a big sample size, 0 for 1. Grounded to the right. And a dive, but it just tips off his glove as it's by him for a base hit. Hey, not a great start for the pitcher right here. Started off with a double, now add in a single, and one of your middle of the order bats is coming to the dish. Man, I don't think this was the start he was imagining warming up in the bullpen. That'll bring up Jordan Alvarez. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. And they're runners at the corners now. Ball and no strikes. Here it is. Two zero count. Runners at the corners. You can bet he's looking for something to drive right here. There's a good chance he gets something to hit too. Two and one. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Three-one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. 
three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. The runner from third crosses the plate, and they've taken a one nothing lead. Hey, this team's been in a pretty bad funk, d -Row. They've had a difficult time scoring and winning any game, so to strike early, that RBI single right there is awfully big. Yeah, and hopefully the pitcher's able to breathe a sigh of relief, Dan, like you say all the time. Give me some early runs and let me relax and attack the zone. I've always said, d -Row, you score me six runs, I'm going to win a lot of games. <laughs> and that'll bring up the former first-rounder, Alex Bregman. No balls in one strike. From the stretch. Hey. You got to cover the whole plate now after letting him steal two strikes on the inside half. And set up behind the plate is Joe McDonald as you see the rest of our umpiring crew in this one. Hey, Joe McDonald, he's a tough guy to figure out sometimes, Dero. One inning, he'll be given that inside corner. The next inning, he doesn't give much of that inside corner. His zone fluctuates a lot. You know, Dan, you can see some definite confusion on the face of some hitters today. Questioning the strike zone. One pitch is a strike on the outer half. The next time, it's a ball. Kind of a little cat and mouse with the umpire when you should be focused on the pitcher. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Lifetime against this particular arm. He's a perfect two for two. Strong on second. Alvarez is over at first with one away. Fastball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. The 1-1 home. Hey. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. There is Andrus to second for one. Relay to Olsen. They turn the double play, and that retires the side. Astros forced to settle for only the one run. Amber Valdez, the Dominican left-hander, will get the nod to start here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft, you can go in and out, and anytime you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Now into the box, Elvis Andrews. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Hit out towards second. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. Hey, d -Roll, this looks like it could be a high-scoring affair. Home team comes up now, and they've got something brewing in the bottom of the first. Yeah, 100%. Anytime you put that lead-off batter on base, that's a disaster for the pitcher. You don't know. You can work with fun, hit and run, steal all I forgot. They don't run or hit and run. Here's Jed Lowry now. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Fellas, taking a look at these Astros entering play here this afternoon. They come in in a real funk to start the year. Still searching for what's been an elusive first win. Yeah, Matt, they have to avoid the sweep right here, especially a four-game sweep. That can be devastating to the psyche of a team. It's okay. I, it happens. Throughout the course of a season, you're going to drop three in a row. But to get pounded four games by the same team can happen. A runner at first with no outs here. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Grounded up the first baseline. 
Guriel scoops it up. There's one for Guriel, and they get them both. That is good. The third base hit. Matt Chapman. Digging in will be Matt Chapman in his career against this pitcher. He's one for three. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. Count one and oh. hey. A ball and a strike to count to Matt Chapman. I know it's the first inning, but he better find his release point on that breaking stuff or he's in for a long day. And that one misses here as he falls behind the Oakland third baseman. Two and one now. Into the windup and the pitch. Hey, that's a good sinker right there. That's his bread and butter pitch. And if he's got that going, especially early, it's going to be tough to get some runs off. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Full count still. Payoff pitch one more time. Swing and a high chopper. Guriel brings it in. Over to first, and that retires the side. Nothing doing there for the A's. They're down 1-0. Correa. He'll start things out in the top half of the second. And now the first pitch. Breaking ball for a strike. 0-1. Well, today's game provides the A's with a chance to complete a series sweep, guys. This team going for the sweep is looking for some home cooking. It's always yep. nice okay. to win a series, but particularly nice when you can sweep a series at home. Of course, in order to achieve said sweep, they'll need to overcome this early one-run deficit. When you're playing as well as this team is right now, they've got them right where they want them. They're only down one early in this one. And when you've won a couple of games in a row already, you have that feeling you can certainly come back and win this one. Hit hard up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So the Astros put a man aboard to get the inning underway. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line them. Drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two-strike adjustment. And able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Stepping in now. Kyle Tucker down the first baseline. Fielded cleanly. Andrus. And for the second time in two innings here this afternoon, they bounced into a double play. That's one of the hardest double plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. So here's Yuli Gurriel. Center, base hit. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight and nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days, you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you can swing the bat. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. Whoa, and he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The 1 0 home Aye. is looked at for the first strike.
two and one. Guriel is off a of first with two away. Here's a hard hit ball that'll be caught out there at short. Pretty much right in the glove that time, and the inning is over. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson, batting 300 for the series, 3 for 10. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And that misses inside 1-0. There's the heavy sinker right there. What makes that pitch so difficult to hit is not only does it change eye levels, it actually changes plane. You go to hit it at one position, and it's six to eight inches dropping off the table and chasing your hands. The 1-1. One, one. is swung on and one missed, ball. and that's strike two. two. Strike. Fouled away. Lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. And now in the box, Ramon Laureano. Lifetime in this matchup. He's one for four. And the pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Now that's when you know it's a good pitch. He broke off a really nice breaking ball down in the zone right there, and even though this is one of the best hitters around, he waved right through it. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Too much one dip ball, on the right. sinker, laid off for a ball. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got to count in his favor, three and one. This pitch is popped up. Guriel in foul ground, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. So two out, nobody on. And striding into bat next, it will be Mark Canna. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. Two and oh now. Down nope. low That's and the ball. plot thickens here. Three and oh. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. The three and one pitch. Swung on and missed, a full count now. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. And another foul ball. The next 3-2. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. Batting seven. The left fielder. And that brings up Chad Pinder. For the series, he's three for 12.
first delivery to him. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Now here's a shot out toward the gap in right center. Kenna isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. And he will be tagged out at the plate. So it remains a one-run deficit here as the side is retired. The A's strand one. It remains one nothing. third set to get underway and that'll bring up the outfielder Michael Brantley first pitch of the AB now hit hard down the line uh, this gets foul it's 0-1 Brantley a native of Washington, the Evergreen State. This is his 12th season in the big league, so he's put together a really nice career to this point. Yeah, Matty, you ain't nope. kidding right there. Ten years, we refer to that in the biz as hitting full pension. Hold hard, but it's foul down the first base side. Now he turns and smokes this one into deep center field. Loriano has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Next up for the Strohs, Miles Straw. Now here's the first offering. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Lowry. Ranging into the outfield, and that's into the gap and should be extra bases. <laughs> You'd think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. to the plate now Jordan Alvarez as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls in a strike a base hit in his first trip behind Owen two now hey usually the second time through the order you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one-two. Strong leads off second with one gun in the inning. One-two pitch is a bit high, and he's back to even at two and two. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. So now it will be the four-hole hitter, Alex Bregman, runner in scoring position with two gone. Now the first pitch. All in one. Comes set. The 0 1. And a breaking one. ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Lays off the slider that time. 2 and 1. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. The man on third with two down. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's three one in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Hell 
swing and a miss. Good pitch, and it's full now, three and two. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks, and even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Fouled off. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. One left for Houston, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Bottom of the third now, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Steven Piscotti. And now pitch on the way. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Swing and a liner. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. In at the plate is Sean Murphy. He had a homer in the ballgame yesterday afternoon. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Sinker on the inside, and that's a strike. He's had to be sitting out over that outer half of the plate. For him to take those first two pitches right there, finds himself 0-2, I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go right back to that spot. And he looks at a sinker for a called third strike, and now there are two gone. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. Here's Elvis Andrus now. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. One for one with a single so far. Oh. Looked like the sinker there dipped a little below the knees. Two out, nobody on. A shortstop behind with a one and two count. Curveball three. locks him up, strike three, and that's the third out. One, two, three, go the A's. They still trail one nothing. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I discussed the Astros' offense with Houston's manager. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said he's been really happy with how many balls they've hit hard and on a line. Looking at the numbers, they've had seven total line drives. And even though some of those have resulted in outs, he says it's that kind of consistent contact that leads to W's in the standings. Okay, thank you, Heidi. All set for the start of the fourth. And striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. And now the first pitch. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Changes up on him there, but it's one and two. Swing, and he launches this one to deep left field. Looking up is the left fielder. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to left. First home run of the campaign for him. And the Astros have taken a two to nothing lead.
Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Here's Carlos Correa now. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. He singled in his first A.B. Wind up and the 0 1. That's strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. And he misses there. One and two. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. Two runs, seven hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. High in the air down the right field line. Piscotti has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Now at the plate, here is Kyle Tucker. First pitch on the way. At the ball. Counts one and The one zero. Looked at for ball number two. One out, nobody on. This is popped up. Chapman in foul ground. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. The 2 1 home. Ground ball right side straight into the shift. Andrus has it and there's out number two. So the bases are empty here with two gone and digging into bat next the Cuban import Yuli Gurriel. And now pitch on the way. Ground ball right side. Oh what a stop on the slide. Hats off to that one. One more for the Astros, and it comes on this solo homer. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 2 0 Houston. Leading off the inning, it'll be Jet Lowry. They'll look to spark the offense and even things up. This is where the pressure starts to build a little bit on an offense. It's not late enough. I mean, you don't have to start panicking right now, but this is where you're looking for someone to light a spark to get back in this game. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Ball match outside. Whoa, that's down. Hey, throwing the ball great up into this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And oh, not so fast, partner. A called strike on the inside part of the plate. Three and one now. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Looked like he might have gotten squeezed a little bit right there, and you know he's talking to himself in his head about it. That kind of stuff goes both ways, though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Lowry aboard here at first with nobody out. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. One.
one and two now as that one's fouled off. Swing and a little blooper to center. Correa backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first. And that brings in the big power hitting first baseman Matt Olson. Has a look, now the pitch. 1-0. Here it comes, 1-0. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. 2-1 to the A's outside. first baseman. All even now, 2-2. Two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Three ball, two ball. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Now the payoff pitch home. He swung on and missed strike three. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One oh pitch below the zone a swing and a miss. A little behind on that swing and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Lifted in the air toward the line and right and no one can get there it's a foul ball. He'll try again, one, two. To two balls and two strikes now. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One left for Oakland. They're still down. It's 2 nothing. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Jason Castro. Now the pitch. Ball, that count. The 1-0. Right side, but it's well foul. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Oh, he couldn't Good catch ball. up with the gas Good that time. And it'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2 and 2. And it's fouled away. And he squares up on this one. Deep to straightaway right. To Scotty looks up. Gone to lead off the inning. Solo home run for Jason Castro. First home run of the campaign for him. And the Astros have taken a 3 to nothing lead.
Man with two strikes here. He was trying to climb the ladder, but he didn't get this one high enough in the zone. So instead of chasing it out of the zone, he got a letter high heater that he rode right out of here. If you're going to try to run a fastball by this guy, you have to get it up there. Here's Michael Brantley. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. The 1 0. Left side, but well foul. If you're on the mound right here, you've got to trust your catcher and execute. You know who's coming up to the plate. Base is empty here with nobody out. In the air to straightaway right. Piscotti is under this one, and he puts it away for the first down. Stepping in once again is Miles Straw. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. First delivery to him. Curveball and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Lots of hits given up, but so far no walks. At least he's making them work to get on base. Problem is, they haven't had to work too hard. Comes at him with the slider there, and he gets the strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a liner. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. The knock's a knock. At the plate, Jordan Alvarez. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone! A two-run blast to straightaway right field. First home run of the campaign for him as the Astros will open up a 5-0 lead. Yeah, everyone in the stadium, including the guy in the mound, knew it was just a matter of time until this guy cranked one out of here. Well, that's the first one of the year, and many more are sure to follow. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. Slider laid off for a ball. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. One zero. -oh. Couple of strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Now the two zero, -oh. and this is swung on and hit to Lowry at second, scooped up, and he'll whip he's this up. one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. So the bases are empty with two gone now, and that'll bring in Jose Altuve. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Line drive. That's a base hit into the right center field gap. Turning for second is Altuve. And he is in the second with a two out double. The batter, number one, shortstop, Carlos. Here comes Bob Melvin now out of the Oakland dugout. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two thirds, and he's on the hook for the L unless this one turns around. Lou Trevino will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Number 62.
So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. He grounds it sharply to third. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. And he will beat the tag at the plate. It's now a six to nothing ball game. Well, that run won't be charged against him, but he's still disappointed. His job is to shut the door down when they call on him, and he just couldn't get it done there. Into the box now, Kyle Tucker, as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0-1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. From the belt, the pitch. Hey. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. The 0-2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. The 0-2 once more is looked one at ball, for ball strikes, one. Down. From the stretch. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. Just hung in there on that one. The 2-2 one more time. And here's a ball hit in the air. But no one can get to this one as it's down for a foul ball inside the visitor's bullpen. Correa leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. A good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Man, as a pitcher, I can tell you that is so frustrating. He's got two outs and he wants to get that third out as quickly and painlessly as possible, but that hitter makes him work his tail off and he still loses him. Now the Cuban import Yuli Guriel. He's one for two in the ball game. And now the first pitch. Aye. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Four runs here in this half inning. A ball and a strike oh, wow. to count to the Astros' first baseman. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Now the 2-1 pitch. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. Home half of the fifth coming up. Astros lead this one six to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the A's hitters to this point. 
and he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. They're struggling to drive the baseball into the gaps right now as only one of their hits has been for extra bases. That makes it pretty tough to generate runs, but he said it's up to everyone in the lineup to make the necessary adjustments. It hasn't gone their way to this point, but that shouldn't mean they can't put together some great swings the rest of the way. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. So now it's Mark Canna. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, no doubt about it. You can tell in between innings the veterans in that dugout going up and down the line, trying to keep this lineup from getting super frustrated. They just have to find a way to piece it together, maybe pass the baton, get some wheels in motion, maybe get aggressive on the base pass if they can get somebody on. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk. Coming right after him here. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. A curveball hit right back at him. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Now back. Left field. So bases are empty with one out now. And up next, the ever versatile Chad Pinder. First pitch of the AB on its way. Hey! Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Popped him up. Guriel has room in foul territory. Two down. Next to hit is Steven Piscotti. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. One and oh, the count. And now pitch on the way. Two and oh. Now, when you've got a six run lead out there, there's no reason not to go right at guys. You have to keep attacking the zone. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll be off the wall in right center. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. Now, this thing stays in the park, but let me tell you something. He absolutely crushed this thing. This park is no bandbox. It takes a lot to get one out of here, and he almost does it. It carried a long time and hit halfway up the wall for a long double. At the plate now, Sean Murphy, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 0 home gets him to chase a ball out of the zone for the first strike. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in, jam, sandwich. Sinker misses that time, and it's 2-1. and one. Good time to be a nine-hole hitter right now. More than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter right now. To the left side, but it's well foul. The 2-2 two -two is three. in there. A called strike three. Two-out double left stranded. More to come on the show Sunday Baseball after this. And stepping in, Jason Castro he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone, so if I'm on the mound right now, I'm Hold thinking try to him. keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well.
comes set and the 0 1. And he looks at a ball one and two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Fouled away. Another one two delivery. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brinkley. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. Now batting, number three. So next to bat will be Miles Straw. His career numbers against this pitcher, he's one for two. He's set. Here it comes. Yep, this one's one outside. Out. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Looks like he's pitching pretty cautiously right here, but that happens when a guy's three for three on the day. Usually he's a guy you challenge a little bit more, but I guess he's earned some respect in this one. The 2-0. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Astros go down one, two, three, but they're on top by a count of six to nothing. Elvis Andres the next to bat and at this point of the game I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game you know you're doing something right Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Ready with the first pitch here it comes. Well Down below the knees laid off on the change up there. Ball and two and oh as this one's taken low. That's where he wants that sinker to end up. But that was a nice job of laying off. Two balls and a strike to count. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Digging in, the switch hitter, Jed Lowry. It was a walk in his last trip. From the stretch. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Set and the 1 0 pitch. Swing and a shot toward right center. And that's going to find the alley. Extra bases here for Lowry. Andres rounds third and is digging for the plate. The tag and he's safe. And the deficit now stands at five. Well, this is a lesson for all those pitchers out there. When you allow the leadoff man on base, it always comes back to haunt you. With no outs, I thought they might hold the runner at third, but they send him anyway, and the run scores.
And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. No hits to this point. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. He's got it. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Next to hit, Matt Olson. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing and one. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Looking to send him packing again. That misses one, one and two. Ball two with a sinker that runs off the inside. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. In now, Ramon Laureano. In the dirt. Throw goes over to third. The tag's there, and he's out trying to steal third. Great throw. A's have to settle for just the one. We're through six full. The Astros on top, six to one. Adam Kolarik will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. All set for the start of the inning. And standing in is the DH, Jorgan Alvarez. Very rarely, Matt, do you see a first pitch changeup hit out of the ballpark. That tells me right now that this guy was up there looking for the changeup of that last at bat. We'll see if they pitch him any differently here. He's set and the pitch. Comes the nothing and two pitch. One ball, two straight. Looks like a right hander's gotten up to throw now in the Oakland pen. Here's the one and two delivery. Bouncer to the left side. Chapman brings it in. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. So now into the box is Alex Bregman. Grounded out in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Oh, look out. Hot shot to third and there are two away. Up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. Two out, nobody on. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Hit out towards second. Taken there by Lowry. 
throw on to Olsen will take care of him at first and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Astros. They lead it six to one. Bottom of the inning now. And digging in now, Ramon Laureano. Now here's the first offering. Check swing here, and they'll appeal it down to first, but Carl Dixon's right on it. He went around, so that's strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. 1 and 1. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Swung on and missed. 1 and 2 now. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Drilled the first. And there's one down now. Next up, Mark Canna bounced out last time up. Ready with his 100th pitch of the ball game. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Popped him up. Guriel in foul ground. And this is going to fall. He can't flag it down. Hey, that's just a great mix of pitches right there. And that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. And there's a base hit on the line. Hey, not a bad pitch right there. Off-speed pitch down in the zone. He thought he would set that up pretty well. The previous pitch was a real good fastball pump. Yeah, I think the hitter was sitting all over that one, Dan. I really do. He saw that fastball up for show. I think he thought to himself, here comes the off-speed. Here comes the Astro skipper up out of the Houston dugout. And he's going to motion for the bullpen, as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. Now, so we'll leave here with one out in the seventh as he now hopes the bullpen can go ahead and get him the W. Standing in now, Chad Pinder. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for bowl one. He's one for two in this one. The 1 0. Fouled off. Kenna, base runner at first with one out. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Two balls, one Hit on the ground down the first baseline. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Well, they've been struggling at the dish all game long, so stringing two hits back-to-back, -back, one of them for extras, is a sign that they've got some life in them. We'll see if they can cash in here. So that'll bring up Steven Piscotti as he'll take a look at ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. The 1 0 is laid off for ball two. Listen, I'm biased to the hitters. This is a situation where you've got to be aggressive. He's shaky right now. Two men on, and now you got a 2-0 count. This is where you want to capitalize. 
too high. And it's 3-0. and oh. From the stretch. Hey. hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. And the runner from third scores as they try to work their way back into this one. Into the box, Sean Murphy. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. One and zero delivery. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Too tight oh, with that good. one. Three and zero. Oh. Elvis Andrews who represents the potential tying run here, waits on deck. Three and one. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Runners are at the corners with one man out. And he takes ball good. four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. That's a big no-no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Elvis Andrews. A hit in two tries for him so far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Tucker has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And even with two outs now, they decide to hold that runner at third. So two are gone now in the Oakland half of the seventh. And up next, the switch hitting Stanford product, Jed Lowry. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. In there at the knees, strike one. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. Here's the 0 1. Outside for a ball, 1 and 1. Two out, bases loaded. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. High in the air down the right field line. Tucker waits on it. And they'll avoid the big inning as he makes the catch, so just the one run scores here in the frame. A's have to settle for just the one. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Astros lead it six to two. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. New pitcher set to take over now. It's the right hander Sergio Romo that gets the call. Ready to begin the eighth, and coming forward now is the shortstop, Carlos Correa. First 
pitch coming. Here it is. Romo, once a Minnesota twin, he signed as a free agent with this organization earlier in the season. Yeah, he didn't have an opportunity to really get acclimated to this ball club. Showing up during the season is not always easy, opening the doors to a big league clubhouse and trying to get to know your teammates. The best way to get to know them is to go out and produce. And there's ball one. The A's entered the day looking to wrap up a big series sweep, but it's going to take some late game heroics in order to make that a reality. Never easy to sweep any team, but this is a close one, and there's an old saying in baseball, a bloop and a blast, and if they can stay close, get a base hit, get somebody to hit one out of the ballpark, they're not out of this one yet. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Striding in for Houston, Kyle Tucker. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. First delivery to him. Swing and a liner. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So now to the plate, Yuli Guriel. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. From the belt, the pitch. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0-2, the numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Center fielder giving chase, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. The good news for pitchers in this park is that it doesn't give up many home runs. A lot of room in the outfield. Sometimes that's the bad news as well, though, because there's a lot of space for hits to get down and to go for extra bases just like that. To the plate now, Jason Castro. Nope. As you look at a changeup that drops below the Count knees for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. A 1 0 delivery. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Catch is made. Here comes the runner from third. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Hey, talk about having a productive hitting. You like to see that. You like to add on runs anytime you can. And the sack fly here gives their team another insurance run. And they're starting to blow this thing wide open. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Michael Brantley is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. It puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. A one-and-one one count. Here's the pitch. Yeah. Guriel on third with two out. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. A run on two hits, and they leave one. 
Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Houston leads this one 7-2. Your Ryan Stanek is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 45, Ryan Stanek. Now to bat, Matt Chapman for his career in this matchup. He's 0 for 5. Matt Chapman. First pitch on its way. Hit hard to the right side. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. So the next to bat will be Matt Olson. Three at bats for him in this one. All ending with him going down on strikes. First pitch on its way. Stanek rarely finds himself in much trouble out of the bullpen at least in terms of giving up base hits he's proven to be a tough guy to barrel up a one and0 delivery now a swing and a miss and I don't think he was expecting a pitch inside it's one and one. And this will be fouled away. And he'll strike out here yet again. As it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Wow, he's just a lost cause in this one. That's the fourth time he struck out in this game alone. And that's not something you'll forget very quickly. That's about as bad of a day as you can have. So now here is Ramon Laureano and they're down to their final four outs here Dan. Yeah and it's not looking too good for them right now Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on and then who knows what could happen. First pitch on the way. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit out towards second. Altuve has it. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Hey, I understand it's a tough backhand play right there, but he who hesitates is lost. You could tell him fishing in the glove a little bit too long, and it cost him on getting the out right there. At the plate, Mark Canna in the dirt here. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. Now the 1 0 is swung on and missed. Strike one. And it's fouled away. The one and two pitch. That ball two. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. The A's strand one. They're down five. It's seven to two. Now I've got choice to sacrifice. 
He is Mara Petit, enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. New inning set to get underway, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Miles Straw. Number three. And now the first pitch. Ninth hey. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Slow roller down the third baseline. And the leadoff man in the inning will get the job done here. It's an infield single. Hey, I can only take you inside the mind of the batter right here. Had a lot of swinging bunts in my day. Soon as that ball hits the dirt in front of you, you are getting it down the first baseline. When you smell a knock, I don't care what it looks like, you are getting it down the line. Stepping in now, Jordan Alvarez. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Now the 1 0. Strong gets his lead at first, nobody out. Swings through it for strike number two. Wow, great pitch right there, right? Changing speeds. How about that straight changeup? How about that swing? Howdy, if you're waving at me. The one-two. Hit hard back up the middle. And there's a base hit as well as that's into center field. Two straight hits to kick off the ninth. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. In now, Alex Bregman. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. In previous matchups with Yasmero Petit, he's 0 for 8. On the ground to the right side. Oh, but the feed is offline. Couldn't hit the shortstop covering the bag. And he'll come in to score from second base. And that is a direct result, obviously, of that poor, poor throw. Well, if anybody was wondering why they're losing, there's the reason. When you're given a chance to make a big play, you've got to make it. Or you're going to be on the wrong end of games more often than not. Into the box now, Jose Altuve. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's got two hits in four at bats. The 1 0 is taken for ball two. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2 0 count, runners on base, find something middle of the plate and let it rip. Has a look, now the pitch. Ground ball to second, this could be two. Throw by Lowry, and there's the first out. The Stepping up the is shortstop. Carlos Correa. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch of the AB now. Runners are at second and third with one down. Nope. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. one, ball, one Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Oh. 
And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. Olsen is over now, and he's got it for route number two. The right fielder. Digging in next, Kyle Tucker. Kyle. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Yeah, and just another simple single to the outfield would be a big one right here. Don't try and do too much. You know there's a potential base open right there. Maybe sit off speed. Aye. In there, no balls and a strike. Oh, one's the count. You know, a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball, 0-0, oh, oh, center cut. Oh. Didn't even give the impression the he count. was swinging. One one. Count now a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch. Looked like he was cheating the heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Here's the one and two. <laughs> and there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. Astros plate one on a couple of hits. Bottom part of the order, seven, eight, and nine, due up in the bottom of inning number nine. Astros lead this one, eight to two. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. And next, it'll be the outfielder, Chad Hinder. Now here's the first offering. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Grounded to first. Guriel picks it up and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Up next, Stephen Piscotti. So far, two for three in this one. He's set. Here it comes. A ball and no strikes. Boy, that's a tough pitch to take right there. I'm not sure if you're guessing or you're sitting on a pitch, but boy, that was awfully close to being called a strike. The 1 0. That's ball two. Three ball, no strike. Sean Murphy is on deck. Here it is, the 3 0. There's Take ball four. Now batting, catcher, John. Next to dig in, Sean Murphy, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Now the first pitch. And they start oh, him out down. with a slider. Good spot, but he doesn't get the call. 1-0. Piscotti stands at first with one out. And ball. he misses again, 2-0. and oh. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning. Because if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate. And that usually means damage done. Here it comes, 2-0. 2-1. Oh. and two one. one strike. Took a good cut right, that time, but two comes two. up empty, two and two. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Freezes him on the inside, strike three. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 oh to start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but... Then he kind of refocused and himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to set him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Standing in now, Elvis Andrews, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here it comes now to Andrus. 
Well, that's off the plate. No, inside. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Hey, that's a heck of a pitch right there. Big velocity up and in for a strike, too. I mean, you saw this guy flinch at the plate. He was thinking that buzzed the tower, but then to get it popped to strike is tough. Pitch is popped up. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Last strike now for Oakland. Hits this one hard the other way. Guriel scoops it up, and he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. Eight to two is how this one ends today. The Astros jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Framber Valdez gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Paul Blackburn permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Fans are final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Astros, eight runs on 16 hits. No errors, they left nine runners on base. For the Athletics, two runs on eight hits. One error, they left nine men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 17 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.